Are you noticing flashing lights, shimmering shapes, or kaleidoscopes in your vision? Maybe it's associated with a headache, or maybe it's not. I'll explain the most common causes for these visual changes, including ocular migraines and migraine with aura, and how to best treat and prevent these problems from occurring. At the end of the video, I'll also discuss some signs and symptoms that you don't want to miss, because they might suggest something more serious, like a stroke or a retinal detachment. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist with Puente Hills Eye Care, and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better. So when a patient comes to me mentioning that they're seeing shimmering shapes or what seems like light shows in their vision, or maybe it's a large blind spot that usually lasts several minutes, the top two things I'm concerning are that it's either an ocular migraine or a migraine with aura. Sometimes people get mixed up between ocular migraines and something called a migraine aura because they both affect your vision. Even doctors, especially the ones who don't focus on headaches or vision, can mix up these terms. But it's essential to know that a migraine aura and an ocular migraine are not the same things. So let's go through these conditions and figure out how we can differentiate them. Ocular migraines can also be referred to as retinal migraines and are different than migraine with aura. Now, the key differentiating factor with these two conditions is that ocular or retinal migraines migraines cause visual symptoms in one eye, whereas migraine auras cause symptoms in both eyes. The reason for this difference comes from the underlying pathophysiology. The exact mechanism of both ocular migraines and migraine auras is not totally understood. Some studies have suggested that ocular migraines and migraine auras may be caused by spasming and constricting of our blood vessels, but others have suggested that it actually might be irregular dilation or widening of these blood vessels. And other studies suggest that spasming and constricting of the blood vessels might not be the cause of the migraines, but just the downstream effect of increased inflammation and sensitivity of the blood vessels in our eyes and our brain during the time of an ocular migraine or migraine aura. Whatever the exact cause is, research suggests that there's some sort of dysfunction of the blood vessels either in our brain or our eye that are causing these problems. The key difference between an ocular migraine and a migraine aura is where the dysfunction is occurring. In ocular or retinal migraines, the dysfunction is thought to occur in the retina of one eye which is why you'll only see the visual symptoms from that one eye. Whereas in a migraine aura, the vascular dysfunction occurs in the brain. Since the visual information in the brain has already taken the inputs from both eyes, this is why in a migraine aura, you'll see vision symptoms like shimmering lights, blurred vision, or even blocking out of vision in both eyes. Okay, now that we understand the difference between ocular and retinal migraines and migraine auras, let's go into each condition separately. Let's discuss ocular migraines first. This study reviewed the most common symptoms associated with ocular migraines, and they are complete vision loss in one eye in 50% of patients, blurring of vision in 20%, a scotoma or a large blind spot in 13%, partial loss of vision in 12%, and dimming in 7%. In the study, more than 75% of patients mentioned that they had a headache on the same side as the vision symptoms within an hour after the visual changes. Most of the time, these visual symptoms last in the range of five to 40 minutes. There also seems to be a genetic component to ocular migraines as 50% of patients report a family history of migraines. And there also seems to be an association between ocular migraines and migraine headaches, as 29% of patients with ocular migraines report a history of migraine headache. Okay, now that we understand the symptoms associated with ocular migraines, let's discuss some of the most common triggers. Some common triggers reported in the medical literature include dehydration, stress, increased screen time, low blood sugar, birth control pills, excess heat, exercise, high altitude, smoking, and high blood pressure. Other risk factors that increase your chances of getting ocular migraines are female sex, and the theory is that the hormonal changes related to the menstrual cycle may increase the likelihood of developing these ocular migraines. If you're in your 20s or 30s, if you have a personal history of migraines, or if you have a family history of migraines, and if you have a history of autoimmune disease like lupus. Okay, now that we know some common triggers and risk factors, let's discuss how to treat and prevent these ocular migraines from occurring. The primary focus of managing retinal migraines is to avoid those triggers. It helps to keep a headache diary so you can organize all your information for your own reference and for your doctor as well. You'll want to set up columns across the top of the page of your diary. Information that's helpful to include is the date of the retinal migraine, start time, end time, symptoms such as shimmering lights, blacking out of vision, headache, and the most important column is triggers. Here, you can try to identify what you were doing prior to the onset of the retinal migraines. So when you review multiple episodes, you can look for patterns into what may be causing your retinal migraines. Pay attention to things like what foods you ate prior to the retinal migraine. How did you sleep the night before? What was your stress level? Were you exercising or recently finished exercising? Were you feeling dehydrated? Did you have a big cup of coffee or maybe missed your morning cup? Try to be detailed here so that you can analyze the information later. Once you have enough episodes and entries, we can identify the triggers that may be responsible for bringing on your symptoms. For example, we may recognize a pattern that these ocular migraines are more common after a few nights of poor sleep. In that case, we may wanna talk about sleep hygiene and improving sleep quality. Or maybe you're noticing that these retinal migraines are occurring after drinking lots of coffee or alcohol. Then you may wanna cut down on those. During the ocular migraine episode itself, I usually recommend resting your eyes, getting away from harsh LED lights or sunlight, 
and to take breaks from looking at screens. Ideally, you would lie down and close your eyes in a dark, quiet room. Are there some prescription medications that can possibly help? Yeah, medications like calcium channel blockers, including verapamil or nifedipine, can be prescribed for these ocular migraines, but it's very rare that doctors write prescription medications for this condition. Okay, so we covered ocular migraines. Now let's cover migraine auras. Before we get into migraine auras, if you're enjoying this video, I think you'd like my optimized newsletter. I compile evidence-based ways to help maintain your vision and health and send that information directly to your email. You can visit my website at michaelchuamd.com and sign up for the newsletter today. Okay, back to migraine aura. So migraine auras are visual or sensory disturbances that can happen as the migraine begins or just before it starts. About one third of people who have migraines will have auras. There are several types of migraine auras. The most common symptoms associated with aura are visual symptoms. Up to 99% of patients who have migraine with aura report visual symptoms. These include black spots, flashes of light, blind spots, zigzagging lines, or shimmering shapes. Like we mentioned before, since the origin of migraine with aura is in the brain, we expect to see these visual symptoms in both eyes. Other types of symptoms you can have with auras are numbness or tingling, perhaps in the hands, fingers, or face. Some people can have difficulty with speech temporarily and have difficulty articulating words. In some cases, aura can manifest as weakness of the limbs. Auras typically last anywhere from five minutes to an hour. And then after the aura, there are the classic symptoms of migraine, which include throbbing or pulsing headaches, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and sensitivity to lights and sounds. Now let's discuss prevention and treatment of migraines with aura. Just like retinal migraines, one of the first steps for managing migraine with aura is to keep track of your triggers in a migraine diary and to avoid these triggers. Some common triggers reported in the medical literature include alcohol, caffeine, processed foods, changes in the weather, excessive noise, flashing lights, poor sleep, and stress. And just like retinal migraines, if you feel a migraine with aura coming on, it helps to try to seclude yourself and lie down in a dark and quiet room. In terms of treatments, some over-the-counter options include NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like Advil, Motrin, or Tylenol. Another common over-the-counter option that can provide relief is Excedrin, which includes acetaminophen or Tylenol, aspirin, and caffeine. If over-the-counter options aren't providing enough relief and migraines are still bothering you, your doctor may try to prescribe medications like Sumatriptan for more severe migraines. Okay, now that we covered the specifics of ocular migraines and migraines with aura, Let's go through other conditions that we need to make sure we rule out if you're having new vision changes. Generally, if you're experiencing new visual changes, you should be evaluated by a doctor as soon as possible so they can get down to the bottom of what's causing your symptoms. If you're experiencing those vision changes in one eye, it could be a sign of a retinal problem, like a retinal detachment, a vitreous detachment, or a retinal artery occlusion. So it's important to receive a full eye examination to rule out those causes. Retinal detachments can present as shadows over the vision and retinal artery occlusions can cause severe blurring or blocking out of the vision as well. If you're experiencing vision changes in both eyes, your doctor will need to rule out other causes like a stroke or other brain issues. If you're experiencing any paralysis or weakness, either on one side of your face or on one side of your body, slurred speech, or a sudden headache with severe pain unlike anything you've had before, or a headache with a stiff neck, fever, confusion, or double vision, those are signs to look for emergency medical attention right away. Okay, I hope this review of ocular migraines and migraine with aura was helpful to you. To summarize, with ocular or retinal migraines, you'll notice vision changes in one eye, while with migraine auras, you'll see visual changes in both eyes. Common symptoms associated with these conditions are shimmering shapes, flashing lights, or black or blurry spots in your vision. It helps to seclude yourself in a dark and quiet room if you have these symptoms. And if these problems continue to bother you, try to keep a migraine diary so you can identify triggers that may be worsening the condition. And to be safe, if you're noticing new visual symptoms, get checked out by an eye doctor to rule out other more serious conditions. If you find this information helpful, please subscribe to the channel for more updates. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and would like an eye exam, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Point Hills Eye Care. See you next time.